Good day guys, if you are new to the channel, just watch the video to the end and if you find it very useful, give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, then let's get into the video. So yeah, most likely not coming to this video to learn what SQL is or the definitions in SQL. We just want to code SQL. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to be treating each type of each queries, each things you can do to different data in SQL. So starting off first, before you even have you know, before you even start giving queries to data, you need to have a database set. So to create a database in SQL, use the create database keyword. Say create database space the name of the database. So I want to create a database, let me name it student underscore info. So I want to create a database called student underscore info. So the syntax is just create database as a keyword space the name of the database. So if I run this now, I press go. And as you can see here, it's among the list of database we have. So now I need to open this up so we can write SQL code inside. So now coming inside the student info database. As the database is, we cannot just have different data ranting about the database. Different SQL is structured in a way that different tables are subjected to a database. So as per your yeah, students, yes, a database for your grade is going to be sorry, the table for your grade is going to be different from the table for your information, and the table for your information is also going to be different from probably the table for the courses you offered. You understand? So now, this student info is just a database generally that is going to hold different, you know, table. So, first, inside the student info table, want to have inside the student info database, want to have a table called let's say account or yeah so what i want to do is what create table then inside of this i'm going to be doing space what the table name create table space table name so what inside of this table name let me do information so inside of this run brackets i'm going to be putting different parameters so inside of this table, our uh, information table, I want to have what ID, then the data type of ID is going to be an integer, then it two round brackets, the data the size of the values that can be entered. So yeah, I'll say 10. Then comma, I want to have another parameter called name, then space what char, then so let's say 50. Then comma, I'll explain this thing shortly. Comma matrix number then it's the what character variable then what let's say 15 space um gender space space char then inside of it is the size let me do six and then comma i'm going to be doing um let's just say departments This is also going to be a character variable, and then let me put 20. And let's end it with year. So let's say integer, and let's do 4. So, all this means is okay, create a table that's going to be called information. So, this table called information is now going to hold this individual value of students that will be inside there. So, the first one is ID. The second is name, third is matric number, fourth column is going to be gender, fifth column is department, sixth column is year. Oh, but this year is seeing this year as a keyword. So let me just change it to student underscore year. So now we have different column in this table. First one is ID, next one is name, next one is matric number, gender, department, and student year. So what this 50 means, what this 10 means, what this 50 means is the size of each element that will be inside. So you want to have a student. A student ID must not be greater than 10 in length, not just in number. So if a person has an ID of 12, 13, 14, it is still acceptable inside this column because 12, 13, 14, 15 are just two. They're just two in length. One and two. Two lengths. So if you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four is not greater than 10, but it is less than 10 in length because this 10 means, okay, let me show you what I'm saying. If I have A, 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 this is 1, 2, 3, 4. 
So this AA together has four lengths and it can satisfy or enter this name colon because name colon has a size of 50. So that is how it is. So meaning an ID must take can take up to what, 10 length of numbers. A name must have can also take up to 50 lengths of name. So in case your name is like Vicolodi, it's about um, 15 letters. So it should be able to fit in here. So even if I add more letters to it, as long as the combined number of letters is now 50, it would enter this colon. So the next one is matrix number, we put 15. Next one is gender, we put 6. Because MAL is 4 and female is 6. Then department is 20 in case of you know long department. But mostly it's always 3. ICT, CSC, MCB, sorry, ICT, MCB, SC, NRS. PSG, ANA, and the likes. Then students year, which is going to be four, like 2009, 2010, 2020, 2021, depending on your year of admission. So if I click on go, so you can see our SQL code already run. So inside of this information table that we see here, the table is literally blank because we've not inserted data into it. So after we've done that for SQL, after I've created the database and the table, on to the, now we want to insert data into this. Now to insert data into our codes, we need to do what? Use the keyword insert into space. Insert into the what the name of the table we want to insert something into, which is what student underscore info. So we want to insert into student info. They have you open and close brackets, they note values, open and close brackets. So what it does is what insert into student info these values but inside of this student info there are some parameters that will be here which is the colons we declared already before in the order of the way we want to put their value so here we before we add them we had id before we add them id we had name we had them after id we had name we had matric number we had them um, i know we had here as the last okay student underscore here as the last then there was gender and um, we had id let me just check it out let me check the way the table looks like sorry so here the table looks like id name matric number gender department and here so matrix number gender then department here and student here so what this means is we want to put values here according to the way these things are structured so first we want to give someone value of one as an id the person name so let's say if i call olawadi then matrix number let's say csc slash 2019 slash 0001 then also we want to put the gender as mail then comma i want to put the department as ict and then the year as m 2019 so okay the year was an integer i guess yeah it was an integer so yeah it's going to run a code to put this is just inserting the row the inserting two keyword is just to insert the row into the table we specify so insert insert into like insert a row into what student info in this order from the id to the name to the magic number to the gender to the department to the student of the person insert one by color the csc 2019 001 mail ict and 2019 inside of student info as a row following this so if i run this now and let's now see okay it said student info student. okay sorry there's no table like student okay the name of our table is information sorry yeah information is not our table so i want to insert into this table called information not student info student info is the database we created so now it has run let's now check the way our information table looks like so as you can see inside this table we have what id which was vicolality as you said we put we put vicolality as the name matrix number to be 6 
we used email as the gender, I see it as the department and transparency as the student here. So with SQ you can do this for multiple for more and you can write this code more and more. So let me just write this code for about maybe eight more people and then I would resume the video. Okay, so guys, I've imputed these values here already. Now let me extend this, as you can see. So, the first, after the first row, we did, now I'm inserting value into the second row. So I'm saying insert into student info. In this format, insert these values. So the ID is to, the name is Tunde Olawade, the magic number is CSC 2019-0021, the gender is male, department is ICT, and year is 2019. So I just you know randomly added these students with this name, gender, ID, magic number, and department and year. So I'm going to be running this code. And as you saw, also I changed the ID for each student. The first, second student was two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's run this now. Go. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, no, I did a mistake again. I need to change this name again to information. So now I've done the changes we need to do. Students, the table name is information and I'm starting this inside this table. So let's press go. Yeah, as you can see, our uh, SQL codes have run already. Now let's check out what our table looks like. So, see our table here is a table of 10 students. So this is the name of the person we started. First person, the magic number is gender, is department and year. Second person to Tunde. Magic number, gender, year. The third is queen, fourth is Samuel, each and every one of them are here. So, this is how to insert in SQL. So, after insertion, let's now try to select. So, okay, let's try to select. So, given these parameters now, let's see this, you know, what we entered now is like a list of like 500 students. And you just want to take some data from, let's say, you just want to select some starting data. So, how do we go about it? But first up, let's just try to select these data. We are looking at it here. Let's try to select it ourselves. So using selecting SQL, you see what? Select star. This star represents all. So all in the sense that like select every information in a row from what? Select star from then specify the table information. So now I'm saying select all from information. So I just run this code now. It's going to bring out the same thing we saw before. See, it fetched out everything, every information that is found in the what information table. So now, what if we now what if this data were plenty, like 500 student information? I will just want to what filter it by saying, okay, just give me students that are from only ICT. Probably want to print out something and it's just peculiar to ICT department or anatomy department. So how do we go about it? So that's why we use the VA clause in SQL. So rather than just telling you to select and give us everything from information, I want to what say where what department is equal to ICT. So this is now going to se select and fetch us only the information that we have that are related to people that the department is what ICT. And as you can see here, instead of fetching 10 results, we are left to just um this is three, four, five, six, we are left to just six results. And it is just specular to what people that are from ICT. And as you can see, we also have variation in matric number, we have variation in student year, we have variation in gender. So that is how you can use the where clause in, you know, SQL to select distinctly some particular variable, some particular data. So instead of selecting everything which were 10 data that we have, we only selected six because we wanted it to just be only student that are from ICT department. So now, aside this where clause, there's also something called the and and the or. They go together with the wear clause. So what if you want to select students that are from ICT department and sorry, or they are from anatomy department. Meaning instead of having this result, you want to have a result of two students. Either they are from anatomy department or ICT department. So instead of saying select all from information where department is across ICT, you can say select all from information where department is across ICT or what department is equal to ANA. Meaning select information of students that can, that you can find in ICT department or the ones that the department is anatomy. So in this sense, I guess we are having more than six results because they are 
you know, two other things as you can see the anatomy department. So our SQL code fetched people that are in the ICT department or those ones that are also in what anatomy department. So that is for the all clause. Now if you want to use and clause in SQL, the and clause if you change this to and and clause is only going to run if and only if this left condition and this right condition is true. So basically if I run this code here now I'm definitely not going to expect any results because there's no students that can be in ICT department and also be in what anatomy department at the same time. Because this code is saying select all from information where department calls ICT and department calls anatomy. Meaning bring that student that is from anatomy and ICT department. So if I run this now, I'm absolutely not expecting any results. As you can see here, it's fetched zero results, zero rows. So let's now try to filter. Okay, let's now try to do rather than selecting ICT and anatomy. I don't select who they are from ICT and what people that they are year of graduation. Student underscore year is 2019. So the end result is used to you know give more distinct results. But I'm selecting this first clause, which is in select from ICT department. ICT department can only fetch us, I think we add six students before that we from ICT department. But I want to be very, very accurate and I say, okay, fine, instead of giving me this ICT department students, probably they're up to like 300. Just select the ones that are what? For, that are, that are 2019 sets. So in that sense, I'll just use this AND clause to tell my computer to fetch these results, meaning students are from ICT and also fetch these results at the same time. Meaning students are from ICT and at the same time, their year is 2019. So if I fetch this now and I go, you see the result is going to be just four students instead, instead of six. Because only these four students are from ICT department and at the same time, they are 2019 sets. So that is how you use the AND and the ALL in SQL. Now let's go to the order in SQL. So fine, if I want to run this now, okay fine, the way we ran this before, that we saw the students are from 2019 set. But you can see this matric number, their name, the matric number, even, okay, name or matric number now is not arranged in any order. Because this name, if we started it, then T, then we add S, then we have B. The ID too, okay, the ID is arranged in ascending order. Why the matric number? The first person was 0001, next one is 0021, third one is 0016, then fourth one is 0011. So imagine you want to arrange this thing now in the order of their magic number. Now, okay, instead of randomly giving me these results as magic number 1, 21, 16, and 11, give me an order of the magic number. Meaning the person with 0, 0, 001, which is Vicola, they will come first. Benjamin, which is magic number 0, 0, 0, 011, is going to come second. Samuel, which is magic number 16, is going to come third. Then Tunde Olawadi, who has the least magic, the highest magic number, sorry, which is 21, is going to come last. So in that kind of sense, we are going to be using the order by statement in SQL. So how do we do that? After writing your all your you know SQL codes, you are going to end it by saying order by then space the column you want to you know you want to work on. So you want to order it by the matrix number column. Now say order by matrix number space either D E S C or A S C for ascending order. So if I do this now, it's going to select from information where the department is sitting as student 2019, just like what we just fetched. And it's going to order it by what matric number in ascending format. So meaning, the way I said it before, by quality comes first, then I think Benjamin is second, and somebody and Tundi is definitely last. So you're going to see the result now. So as you can see, it's Vicol is first, Tundi is last, then Benjamin, then Samuel, because it ordered it in what the matric number um, order ascending order the matrix number from 1 to 11 to 16 to 21. So, the same way we did for ascending order is the same way we can do for descending order. So, changing this ASC to DESC is going to make Tunde the first, then Samuel second, then Benjamin a vital order at last as we have it here because we would order this thing to give us the display in descending order. So, that is how you do. That is basically all for select statements. So you can select, then give these clauses to re return the result. And now, instead of this here, now, peculiar to select, instead of using this star, you see, as we did this star, it was returning from the name to the matric number to the year to everything. 
So probably we don't want you know we don't want noise in our results. Probably we just want to fetch the student's name. So what we need to do is change this star to what name. So that star was I told you like I said star means all. So select star from somewhere means select all from the name to the year to what every other thing in that part in the row you should select it. But this name is going to what only fetch the name colon value and give it back to us. So if I run this now, I'm going to it's going to arrange that thing in that same order. But as you can see, it only cropped out the name part. It threw out every other part because we didn't use the star statement to select all. So that is all for select statements in SQL. So now let's go to the update statements in SQL. So imagine okay, the way this number three name is as you can see Q, then the U is also capital letter. But then we don't want to leave our code like that. We want the Q should be capital, then every other letter should be small letter. So how do we do that in SQL? That is where the update statement comes in. Sorry. So in SQL you can update data by using the word update keyword. So I want to say update, then what I would specify the table I want to update, which is what information. So I want to update this table called information. Then the next keyword I'm going to use is what set. So update information. Then what set what name equals to what Q U E E N. But now if I run this code now, as you can see, the this code is just basically doing what update information and I want to set what in the name to Queen. So this code is going to go to the information table and to set every single name to Queen. But because I don't want to set every name to Queen, I will also I'll use the where clause here now to specify that particular column, that particular row, sorry, that I want this to take place. So I'm saying update information set what queen to be equal to set name to equal to queen where what the ID or where name is equal to Q U E E N. So this line is going to run only in where the girls where the name is what Q then capital U then E E N and that is going to change this to this. So if you run this now, you can see it has run already. So it changed this previous name. Where the name is Q U E N with capital U towards Q U E N that we specified with small u. Now let's look at where our result is. So as you can see, our table now has what Q U E E N with a small letter U. So yeah, you can also do more with the update statements. So okay, let's try to now update here also as we have it here. So probably this person here is what a twenty. Okay, is there any mistake? Okay, I didn't even make mistake in computing that. Okay, so let's imagine this last person here who is Grace. It's not 2020, 22 set. Probably she's a 2018 set also. So how do we go about that? We are also going to be using the what? Of this statement. Our ID is 10 because we need that. So what we need to do now is I'm going to say what? Update what? That's in table. Information. Then what? Set what? Um, Matric number to be equal to what CSC slash what okay I forgot the matric number okay let's first just change the year set student year equal to what 2018 then what we now specify where the name sorry the ID is equal to what 10 you can use the name also you can see where name is equal to what Grace it's still going to run whether the name or the ID as long as it's specifying a particular address it should go it will do this change so now let's run this code now and let's go back to our data so as you can see it has run the code successfully now let's go back and as you see here grace changed from 2012 to 2018 but then the matric number was also still 2012 so let me copy this old matric number so we use it to implement a new one so sorry So this is the old matrix number ending with 90. Okay, now let's go to our SQL statement again. So what I want to do now is what update that same table information. Then I want to what set what matrix number to be equal to what this. But instead of 22, I want to make it 2018. Then what where the what name? Okay, let's use ID since we use name the other time. ID equals what 10. So if I run this now. It's going to only affect that part where the ID is 10, which is Grace's information. So as you have it here now, you can see that what 
we change the matrix number from PSG 2012 to what PSG So that is how you use the update statement in SQL. So now let's say you've updated this stuff and probably you now come to realize that okay fine you want to delete some data like let's say grace was not actually part of the whole table probably she was not a student of union at some point then you want to delete that data from the database so what you need to do is use the delete keyword so how to use it is you start by saying what delete sorry delete from so first you specify the table you want to delete from so i'm deleting from what information table use the where clause so i want to delete from information where what id equals thing so this is basically going to delete every information of grace in this student table in this information table so this code is delete from what information where what id equals thing so it's going to go to our you know our table look for where the id is then which is you know grace's information and to delete it so now let's run this now let me copy this code now let's run this now and as okay you see it's even telling me now that do you really want to execute this delete statement and i'll say okay then what it has done already so now checking our rule checking our table sorry you can see we only have what one to nine now we don't have grace anymore in this table so all you just need to do is what delete from then what the table name you want to delete from and what specify a where clause where what maybe the name is equal to victor name is equal to victoria or where the maybe it's the matric number you know and you say where matric number is equal to the person matric number or probably you want to delete you want to delete that of every meal here now i just need to see what delete from information where gender equals meal then the only thing that will be left here will be this id7 which is a queen meal because she's a female and id3 queen because she's also a female and id9 also yeah sorry it's victoria because she's a female the rest of them are male so their data will be deleted from this table so that's how you use the delete statement in sql so now more to selecting you can also use something called the like statement sorry the like you know clause with select so let's now let me just try to run a normal simple select statement so select all from what information table where what where name equals let me show you something now where name equals what victor so running this now like with your knowledge in sql is supposed to bring just the result of where a person name is victor and as you can see just one result victor who is a male student and from anatomy department and 2019 set but if you can check our table here you can see that aside victor there's also a name which is victoria here so imagine okay probably you know the beginning of a name or you just know like three letters of the name or you only know like four letters of the name so imagine someone wants to select victor and victoria at the same time and you don't know the department you don't know this other field but you know that the person name but you know that you want to select victor and victoria or probably you saw the name as benjamin but then when you got to me could you remember whether it was bench something and you know that you know b e n g so if i try to say let me try to select let me show what i'm saying now so let's try to select all from information where what the name is equal to b e n g so probably you always select the person name and you like try it as much as you can to remember but then you couldn't remember the person name and you ended up writing select all from information where name equals bench this is going to fetch zero results as you can see no result because our, our database does not contain anybody with the name bench so this is where the like you know clause comes in so instead of saying where name is equal to bench you can just say when name is what like then specify bench but in place of this bench there are now some things called um like there are some things you can add this is this percent sign is what you need to add meaning that what there might be some things before and they might be what, something after so just like a placeholder to tell the code that okay if you find anything like s bench because you know this represents something before probably a bench or bb bench you get and this percent after also represents okay they might be letters after the bench so it can be benjamin benji or whatever so in case we have benji benjamin 
bench 200 bench 2000 in our database this particular code is going to fetch anything that is what related to bench so if i run this code now you're going to see what i'm saying so as you can see here instead of the way it fetched zero results it fetched what benjamin because we told it with that percent sign which is like a place with that, that okay there might be some letters before this name and there might be some letters after this name now let's do this thing also for victor that i tried before so now do i say select all from where name is what let me first say where name is equal to victor as you can see here it's not going to fetch victoria because the only place where name sorry there's an error okay i didn't put the equal to where name equals victor so the only place where name is equal to victor is what line nine but people that are being victoria would not be you know brought to this result but if you want to make that kind of thing happen and probably you didn't know whether the person whether the other names in the database are victoria or victory or you know any other thing that you know that must include vic you can just delete this vic and put a percent sign after it so this is going to tell the code okay find select all from information where name then what l-i-k-e where name is like what vic then any other thing can follow so this now is going to run a code and find out anything that has to do with vic and as you can see here exactly instead of just bringing victor and victoria it also printed out what by because my first three name starts from vic so putting the percent sign afterwards tells you that okay any other thing you see any other character you see after the vic just bring them as my result so people that are being vic in according to this 10 data according to this 10 size database or like 10 but 10 results it only printed out three because there's one victor start with vic this victoria vic and then there's me by colorology we start with all vic also so that's how it's like statements you see so they are, they are told to print out you know or you want to print out matrix number where what let's see where where matrix number is like what cs then percent afterwards you get or where the matrix number is going to be 2019 something percent before and percent after meaning the matrix number might have what some letters before and that might have what some things afterwards so this is going to print out okay sorry matrix underscore no like what this so pressing go it's going to bring out every result as you can see that has to do with what the matrix number 2019 so the first percent was used for this you know the ones before csc csc anna and the other percent was to specify okay if you see any other thing after the 2019 then that is for this remaining ones 0001 0021 so that is for life statements in sql So now let's probably go towards the between statements. Sorry, the between clause. So like we do, we did it now. Okay, fine. You want to select name that start with Vic, then you put the percent sign afterwards, so it can pick up things that have V I C O L, V I C T O R, V I C T O R I A, or whatever. You can also do this for range of values. So if I want to select something, and I know that okay, fine, it might be a little lower than this or a little higher than this. I can also do that in SQL. So saying what select what or from now let's do year. Our database has year of 2018 down to I think 20 20. Let's let's just check. Let's check our data. Okay, let's just say select all from what information table. So it will display all, all the results we have. So we're running this now. We have select all for so we have 2019, 2018, 2016, 2012. But as you can see, this thing is fetching what everything that has to do with student year so if what if i want to just select student year between what the set of 2018 to 2019 set so what i also need to do is use the between statement in sql so i'll just see what select or from what information table where you know matrix number matrix underscore number then what between 2018 then what 2019 sorry there's going to be an and year between 2018 and 2019 so this is going to just fetch what results of from this information table where the metric number of the students is between what 2018 and 2019 so if i run this now i'm going to see the results is going to bring out okay it, it turns out empty results oh wow
oh sorry so why that thing ran an error was because you know magic number is not 2018 slashes the zero um, the numbers so this was to be what student underscore year so i want to select all for information we have what student underscore year is between 2018 and 2019 so running this now is going to give us the perfect thing we are looking for so as you can see here this is just the result of one two three four five six seven just seven results from what the year is just 2019 2019 2018 2019 2019 2018 2019 so 2012 2016 and other year are not in this search so that's how you can use the between statements in sql so in case you are giving a database that has you know prices i want to select only goods that are maybe from 15 era and like 15 era to 100 era so just use the between statements state the list one and use and and state the highest one so that's all for today's video guys i hope this is really useful and this is really helpful so if you find this video really helpful give the video a thumbs up and do well to subscribe to the channel see you next time